I'm going to call a very attractive um, writer on now. Indian and Pakistani writer Atish Tasir. He is the son of the brutally assassinated governor Salman Tasir. Atish Tasir, welcome on my couch. Now, you're both young writers of uh, today's generation. What do you have to say um, about our youth at the moment? Do you see hope in them? Tremendous hope, I think, but it's 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 something that needs to be handled very carefully, and it needs to be nurtured because when if that hope is disappointed, it has a capacity for violence of uh, and and an ugly reaction. I so, wanted you to just share a little bit about your writing process because no writers write the same way. You know, I don't know, especially in the in the subcontinent, in South Asia, people say, "What do you do?" and you say, oh, "I'm a writer." And they say, no, "But what do you really do?" <laughs> and actually, that's what you really do because every day you sit down and you work. Um, I suppose that's the big part of the process. Otherwise, it's just a matter of superstition and things like that, isn't it? What time you work or what notebook you use, but yeah. discipline. I agree with that completely. And people say to me all the time, they're like, oh, you're right. Well, then do it later or do it at this yeah. time. <laughs> and for me, that regularity, uh, because once some, some kind of narrative starts, you pretty much have to respect that because you can lose it very early, very easily. And so, no, I, I wake up pretty early and, and work then and uh, don't let anyone in because, you know, this is the country of like the most mysterious noises. <laughs> At any hour, there'll be someone hammering away with something. So you've got to catch it early. I, five o'clock in the morning, for instance, for me, I think. Yeah. 